Everybody, so we are in the middle of driving right now to to the farm store. We were gonna pick up uh, a few things. We had to get some extra straw. I wanted to get a big feeder bowl for our chickens. And as I'm in the middle of driving, and I'm with my two-year-old in the back, I'm thinking we might be coming home with a surprise for my wife that I'm thinking she's gonna like, but she definitely is not gonna expect me doing this right now. So here we go. <laughs> of why I ended up making this decision and I've been kind of hesitant to get more chicks as my wife has been kind of on about maybe starting to do it now that springtime is about to be starting. The reason I decided we probably should do it is I don't know when this video is going to come out but we have a rooster that starting to become aggressive and we don't know if he's going to end up making it with us to start maybe hatching out our own baby chicks. We were lucky enough the next first time around when we got our 10 chicks, nine of them became hens, one rooster. So it was kind of like the perfect ratio that you would have wanted, but it just seems like it might not work out. We might keep him long enough just to try to hatch out our chicks for the first time. But if we do not, I figured why not start with some new chicks now before later while springtime's starting so that when six weeks, seven weeks from now, we could maybe start getting them outside other than like before when it was the winter time and six weeks, seven weeks, and it was already 20 degrees outside. So that is not the right temperature for baby chicks. So I'm bringing home some new chicks. We're gonna be coming in and we'll see how their reaction is. My five-year-old's gonna be super excited and we'll see. Chelsea might be a little jealous that I was the one that did it, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm in a given mood. Let's see how it goes. I don't think she's gonna be mad after looking at these little faces. Here we go. What is that? <laughs> Wait a second! You just told me no! She got chickens! Let me see the chicken! Let me see the chicken! Let me see the chicken! Are you sure? Yeah, really. Let me see. Okay, open them up. Oh my god. Come on. Is that six? Five? Five. Are they all Americanas? Not Americanas. I'll let you guys know in a second. But are we, where are we putting these? I got a better thing to put them in. Oh. I wanted to pick them out. What are you guys? What kind is it? So cute. These are <laughs> olive eggers. Ooh, are they gonna be dark green? They do all different kinds, like shades of darker and lighter greens. I saw two little. You better get building that new tube then. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys are so great. Even though we have very new baby chicks, I went back to see how our chickens were doing, see if we had an egg. And I think we just got our coolest egg yet. I don't know if we can eat it though. You guys ready? It's a see-through egg. There's like no shell. It's How just squishy world? like don't a ball. Break it on us. I'm not gonna break it. Oh, that's weird. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> that's really weird. It's like sandpaper and it's like gritty. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that means. So, I don't think we can eat it, but look at this. Squish, 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 squish. But maybe we'll crack it and see what happens just so we can look, but definitely probably not a normal egg. No shell. I think I've read about it. Just not sure exactly what it means. I just changed outfits real quick. Let's figure out what's inside this jelly egg with no shell, which we did look up here in the meantime. It means that they are calcium deficient for whatever chickens lay in that egg. Do, 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 do. I like playing with it. Chelsea does not. So let's find out real quick. Hi. 
Oh, there's a yolk. I feel like we could have ate it. There was a yolk. I didn't think so. Let's go check on those chicks now. We should probably be giving them some food before we starve them. And it comes nighttime and they go to sleep with no food in their bellies. Every once in a while when you're out. This one already has some poop stuck to its bum. And that is not good for any aged chicken, but I know, I'm sorry. For baby chicks, that can be deadly real quick for them because it stuffs them up and then they're unable to poop and the poop builds up in them and they end up dying. So our five-year-old actually caught that for her, us, so we'll have to tell her thank you for figuring that out and hopefully that helps that little guy because he was kind of by himself. She or he. We don't know yet. Yo. Are you looking at the chickens? Hi. Dad, da. Not yet. What'd you think of chickens? Uh, just a little bit. But what's wrong I, don't with I don't remember our other chickens having this that bad. I think there was one, maybe. Oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Alright, so we're gonna dip their beaks because I have not seen them drink any water so far. Yeah. Lena said that she has already dipped their beaks, but I want to double dip just in case since. None of them are drinking. So you just gently take them and then you just. <laughs> it's like that was pretty good. Alright, I want to do another one. Comfy on the heater? We'll let them be now for a little bit. Um, they found their food. They, we dipped their beaks in the water possibly twice. I don't know how much Melina was able to really tell if the beak hit the water or not since she's only five. So, But a few of them did it and they are very much like every other animal. They travel in flocks. If they see one do it, the others follow. So as long as a few of them know where that water is, it should help and they'll get there. So are you excited? I can't believe we have five more chickens. We now have 15 chickens in a matter of six months. And uh, I know that a lot of people like to say this is what they call um, chicken math out there. <laughs> is uh, they start, when you start buying some chickens, you start end up getting more. So we have now become part of that crew. I really wanted to hatch them out. And we might, and I did explain a little bit earlier, you weren't in the car with me, about our rooster problem that we're having. Yeah, so we have a rooster problem, and we haven't fully decided what we're gonna do, but we're pretty sure that he's not staying long term. Maybe long enough to hatch out one batch of our first chickens ourselves. But if not, I figured we'll get some new chicks now. Probably one of these end up being a rooster. And then we go from there. And this would be another good one to have. Our Americana was a good one to have because lay in the blue green eggs. But these are olive eggers. So they would lay a nice egg and they would mix well with another breed to breed as well if one of these become a rooster. So somebody's tired. So that's enough for the chickens today. Or the chicks and the chickens. Uh, I'm gonna let Chelsea deal with the chicks tomorrow while I'm at work and she'll have to deal with them and the kids But she'll be um, glad to talk to you more about them tomorrow We are going to spend a little time with our new little chicks. We're gonna get them out and Lena has made This little bucket for them so that they can pet them and cuddle them Delilah wants to be able to hold one so I think it's a little bit safer if we have them in this little bucket here instead of in the big tub uh, since it's so high up. So we're going to bring them out and look at them, make sure they don't have any pasty butt because last night they did have quite a bit on almost all of them. So we want to make sure that all their butts are clear and that they are looking good and just spend some time bonding with them. Theo, are you trying to see the chick too? So Melina, which one is yours? 
this one right here in the corner. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm curious to see. There, there's some of these chicks that have a lot of feathers in already. And then there are some that barely have any. And I'm wondering if that is an indication whether it's a boy or a girl. I'm not sure. But we shall see if that means anything at all later on. All right, so it is day three here with the new chicks. They are super loud. Uh, a lot louder than I remember even having when we had ten chicks. And this is only five of them. So I don't know if that's an olive egg or thing or not. But um, they've been very active. Um, they seem to kind of be afraid of our hands already. I don't know if that's common for a lot of chicks. I, I think it kind of is. So hopefully they'll grow out of that. Um, we'll have them eat out of our hands here at an early age more to try to get that used to that. But uh, one thing I wanted to say is if you saw our other video when we took home the chicks, we did this. But we used paper towel as the bedding for the first few days. And what that does is it allows the chickens to have more formation of their feet. Um, so they don't cause any kind of limp or get any kind of bad walk. Uh, I don't know how many people do that, but we saw that and we figured it's not a bad idea. It's so easy after the first few days just to pull the paper towel out, pour the new bedding in for the wood shavings, and start them up. So we figured it doesn't hurt to do it for the first few days. But now that we are on day three, we are going to take the paper towel out right now. We're going to replace it with a whole new wood shavings. Probably clean their water while we do that. Get their food all in a new situation. And we'll go from there. But hopefully these chicks don't mind us grabbing them out here real quick. We are officially at now one week of owning our new chicks. Um, I'll go show you guys them in one second. I just kind of wanted to say that this time around it has been so nice to only have five instead of ten. It's made it less work. Um, the food doesn't go down so fast. The water isn't just gone all of a sudden non-stop. So those things are definitely been a positive for having them. Um, also it's not like being like the first time parent like where Everything you just want to look and see what's going on, see what's happening with them. Um, now being our second time around, understanding the process, we understand that we don't have to just follow them and see what they're doing the whole time, and it's been very nice. We did just this yesterday have to move them into our bathroom, our master bedroom. We are going to be redoing here this week, so stay along for those videos. They are going to be in our bathroom here for a week, so but they seem to be doing okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I love the wing detail on these guys. So yeah, um, new week with the chicks, just first week, and I think everything's been going perfect. The dogs have showed less interest this time around compared to the first, which is nice, because last time it was like they wanted to like sniff and be exactly where they were nonstop. Sorry, there's a fly. They wanted to be right where they were nonstop, so it's nice that we don't have to worry about that as much this time around. The only thing that's still surprising to me is that they must just from kicking up and scratching so much, that even we have this on, this little bowl here, and they still find a way to get those shavings into the water. So we're probably going to move to the um, nipple system for the water for them. We just want to make sure they're able to drink okay through it that way, but um, everything other than that has been going perfect with these guys.
So I'd say the first week with these guys have been a success. Uh, like I said, it really hasn't been that much of a strain at all. I'm hoping that with only having five this time around compared to 10, that's how it's gonna be. I don't, like I said, it could have just been our first time and going with 10 that it was just a little bit too much kind of the first time around, even though we did handle it. But it'll be nice this time around to not have that much. I would say that for anyone who is starting out with chickens and you've never had them before, I would say five or six is probably a good number for you to start out with. 10 would probably be the limit, I'd say. Um, that's what we ended up doing. I wouldn't go higher than that. So I would say anywhere from like four, five, six is probably a good number for you when you first start off with chickens. The reason we went with 10 was we eat a lot of eggs here. Plus we knew that roosters were a possibility even though they said they're all pullets, which that you could get a rooster in the batch which we ended up getting one, and unfortunately, we don't know if he's sticking around with us. Probably not. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you like the chicks? Yes. So our new names, we have four of the five right now. Melina named hers Little Chick. Yes. Chelsea's gonna go with Olive. Mm -hmm. Delilah's gonna go with Chickadee. I know we already have two chickadees. This is our, gonna be our third chickadee now. And our mine's gonna be Teriyaki. So we just need to figure out a fifth name. So comment below if you guys have a name, our fifth olive egg or chick. Comment below. We'd like to hear your guys' name suggestions and other names that you guys do for chickens. So we're gonna leave these guys be. And I just kinda wanted to wrap up, show you guys a week, show you how they are now, explain the whole process, how it's been for us. So see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, here's Lola. You guys don't get to see Lola very much. Here's our kitty. You're in the vlog. All right, we'll see you later. Hopefully we'll get this master bedroom all cleaned up and done up here in this next week so you guys can see how that looks. See you later. Say bye. Bye.